Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are well. Today I thought that I would film a review video on the Clarins Everlasting Foundation for you guys. I've been using this foundation for quite some time now, so I thought that I would share my opinions on this foundation. So if you'd like to see my thoughts, then just keep watching. Okay, so let's start off by talking about the packaging. So it's just frosted glass where you can see the fluid inside and then you have this reflective metal gold cap which is absolutely gorgeous. I love the packaging. I cannot fault it whatsoever. It does come with a pump so that is amazing. This foundation does have SPF 15 so it does give you a tiny bit of additional SPF. However, I do think it is essential to wear a daily sunscreen as well. I do think that's quite important, at least for me, but to each their own. So this foundation does have a fragrance. I can't really put my tongue on what fragrance it is, but it is definitely very pleasant. If you are sensitive to fragrance, then possibly this might not work for you. But then again, that's just my overall opinion on it. Um, the coverage of this foundation is amazing. This is one layer on my face at the moment. Okay, so talking about the physical foundation itself, um, I will put a demonstration on the screen here so you guys can see how the foundation applies to my face. I do use two and a half pumps and I do get quite good medium to full coverage with it. Um, and you can definitely layer if you require more coverage, but I feel like one layer of two and a half pumps is perfect for me. Um, I do have mine in the shade 110 Honey, and I do feel like that's quite a good match to my fake tan when I'm not super tanned. I definitely sometimes tan a lot darker than this, um, but for the most part, Honey does match me quite well. It does have a good tone, and it just matches my fake tan. Now, the reason why I love this foundation is because you don't need a lot, and it gives you good coverage. And also, not just that, but it just blends into the skin so well. And the longevity of this foundation, oh my goodness, like seriously, it puts Estee Lauder Double Wear to shame. I'm not even kidding you. This puts Estee Lauder Double Wear to shame. I can put on this foundation at 2 o'clock in the afternoon, and then I'm rolling back home at like 7 a.m., and my foundation is still there. Now, that's not to say that I haven't powdered or anything like that, because I definitely still powder my foundation um, if I am starting to get a little bit oily. But for the fact that it stays on my face, that is my main goal. Whew, I'm running out of breath. I don't really know what else to say about this foundation. It blends amazingly. The coverage is amazing. It lasts a long time. I don't really feel like there's much more I need to say about this foundation. It's amazing. Seriously, if you're wanting a long-lasting foundation, definitely go to the counter and get a sample. I think this foundation is spot on. The only downside to this foundation that I can think of is the fact that there isn't that many shades in the line. Like, don't get me wrong, there are still a good amount of shades. However, there aren't, there isn't as many shades as Double Wear, for example, or Make a Forever HD. Like, I feel like those foundations do have a huge spectrum. This one is more limited. I think there's around 10 or 12 shades to pick from, which is still a lot, don't get me wrong. It's just not as much as what I would like it to be to get the perfect tone for every single person. I don't really think that there's anything else for me to say. This foundation, it lasts beautifully on the skin. It doesn't cake up. It doesn't feel heavy. It doesn't mask up. It's just a very, very nice full coverage medium to full coverage foundation. And to be honest, that's all you want sometimes. You don't want something that can do like 101 things. You just need a foundation that does what a foundation needs to do. Or at least that's what I think in my personal opinion. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and comment down below what you thought of this review. And yeah, I will see you next time. Bye.